In this lecture, I'll be helping you decide where to install and run WordPress. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out more WordPress tutorials over on my website, or you can enroll in my WordPress for Beginners 2023 no-code WordPress masterclass on Udemy, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. Let's get into choosing a hosting location for your site. WordPress can be installed and hosted using a third-party hosting service or on your own server or personal computer. Each installation location comes with its own set of strengths and weaknesses, though I personally recommend going with a third-party hosting service as it tends to be more convenient and secure. When it comes to choosing a location for your WordPress installation, part of your installation will come down to what you intend to do with your WordPress site. Are you simply installing a WordPress test site to get to know the CMS better or practice your skills? Are you designing a site for your business that you want customers or clients to be able to visit on the web as soon as possible? Or are you designing a website for a client that you'll be handing over once the project is finished. Some additional questions you may want to ask yourself are, what level are my technical skills? What is my annual budget for maintaining the website? And do I have enough space, computing power, and security on my personal computer to self-host? To help you answer these questions, here's a quick overview of where you should install WordPress based on your needs and skill level. If you're a total WordPress beginner with no budget, a reasonably powerful computer, and no current need for a website that's viewable online, I recommend starting out by installing WordPress on your computer. This is a fairly simple process that will give you full access to WordPress's features without needing to be online or pay for hosting services. On the other hand, if you're a business owner who needs to design their own website and publish it on the web, and you also have a website hosting budget, I recommend you buy a hosting plan through a company like SiteGround and install WordPress via your third-party host. Finally, if you're very tech savvy and capable of setting up your own secure server or already have your own server set up, plus prefer not to use a third-party host to display your website, then I recommend you install WordPress on your own personal server. For those of you who don't know how to set up your own server and do not already possess the required hardware for setting up your own server, I don't recommend taking this route as it will be much more time consuming, risky, unless you know what you're doing in terms of server and web security, and potentially more costly with slower performance. To summarize this lecture, there are three main ways to host your website on your computer, on a private server, or through a third-party hosting site. Hosting on your computer is the cheapest option since technically it's free, though it is not recommended if you plan on having your site accessible online. This can be a great option, however, if you want to build test sites offline. Hosting a website on your own private server, on the other hand, will require you to purchase and properly set up your own server hardware and software and thus tends to be more expensive and require a higher level of technical expertise. Plus, like hosting a site on your own computer, this method can be less secure if you don't have a background in cybersecurity. Finally, third-party hosting tends to be the easiest and most secure option, but will cost you a monthly fee based on your storage and performance requirements. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out my WordPress for Beginners no-code WordPress masterclass for more lectures, including how to install WordPress on your own personal computer or via a third-party host. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.